Hi, it's Susan Hansen here with the Stress Buster series interviews. And today we have Steve Bottrell. Steve manages the VON SMART program. He is an exercise instructor for seniors and people with disabilities. He currently operates a fitness company called Ease Into It Fitness that focuses on exercise of all types. Steve offers exercise videos called At Home Senior Fitness that are broadcast on the local television station as well as on YouTube. He has written two books called Overcoming Impossible Odds and The Greater Miracle. He is a keynote inspirational speaker for different groups such as school age kids, different organizations, church groups, colleges, and high schools. So welcome, Steve, to the Stress Buster interviews. Hello, thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for coming. So we're going to do five short sessions, a mini, a mini series, and this is session one of five. And I guess, you know, knowing what you do, uh, my first question would be, just tell me your story about how you became interested in your career working with people who are seniors or with different disabilities. How did that all start for you? Okay, perfect. Uh, well, as you notice, my eye is, is kind of kind of offline. Um, that's because I was I was hit by a car when I was 22, and I was in a coma for 10 days. And then after my coma, I had to learn how to do everything over again, including walking and talking and seeing and eating and everything from scratch. Wow. Um, and, you know, I just wanted to, I remember just being at the hospital for about six months and just wanting to go home. And everybody kept saying to me, you can't go home yet, you can't go home. And one person, and that was my dad, said, when you get stronger. And to me, at the time, getting stronger meant getting physically stronger. Well, I knew how to do that. So I dedicated myself to doing physiotherapy. I just loved being in physio, learning to walk again and talk again. And it just uh, overcoming any obstacle that was set in my path. So I found that the more I exercised and the more I I did the therapeutic type of exercise, the, the quicker I healed. I healed my brain and as well as my body. Because, you know, if I, he, if I could heal my, my body, automatically it started healing my brain. Mm. And then I found that, you know, by doing certain exercises and, and uh, teaching others how to do those exercises, I found it very beneficial. And that's really how I got interested in you know teaching others the the benefits of exercise mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes and and so your your exercise is um so you've caught two books overcoming impossible odds which is that yeah. story and then yeah. the greater miracle so tell us a little about a bit about that so what has this all meant to you uh in well, the big picture well the big picture is that you know i i found that you know, by doing exercise, I could overcome anything. And it, it's really, by telling people my story, it has really inspired them to reach for their goals. Uh, now, the greater miracle part of the story, which is the second book, it, it's more of a religious aspect to the whole, uh, the whole um, uh, perseverance and, and how I managed to stay sane <laughs> through mm -hmm. all this mm -hmm. and that you know I found that through through God through through you know prayer and and through the the grace of God I was able to heal faster and better and mentally and physically just overall it really helped wow. so, so by telling my stories yeah. so wherever yeah. that you know that power that light and that power comes from for somebody. I think right. what you're saying is whatever the source is, that's really the most powerful of healing. Right. That's right. That's wow. right. That's amazing. What, whatever you whatever you choose to believe in, whatever helps you to, you know, help help yourself, uh, you should believe in it. And primarily believing in yourself and it is and and however you do that is uh is primarily the, the best the best way to do it right exactly wow i know when i had my head injury 
I lost my confidence and um, mm -hmm. because I couldn't talk very well either. And I remember just walking around the house saying five good things about myself. You know, you're intelligent, right. you're funny, you're this, you're right. that. And then I yeah. found that when I got out into the world, I started behaving with more confidence. Yep. I just kept telling myself, you're a good person, you're this, you're, you're whatever. <laughs> right. and, and it's really That's interesting right. how it reflected out there, right? That's so, right. yeah. Right. Really, if, you, uh, if you believe in yourself, you can become anything. You can achieve anything, right? Yeah, yeah. Wonderful. Okay, well, that's great. So that's how you got started. And yeah. in session two tomorrow, we're going to talk more about the different exercises you do with because I know that you actually it's not just seniors, um, mm -hmm. or disabilities, it could be accidents, it could be MS, it could be a lot of right. things. Right. So yeah, yeah. But, and I find that very interesting. So let's talk about that in session two tomorrow. So thanks very sure. much, Steve. Thank you. Okay, that went very well. Okay. The answer was that answer by answer okay. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Just be yourself. That's all we want. Okay, so I will introduce you again. Okay. Okay.